Okay, well, Neil, our time in Portugal ends with a 4 2 defeat, but your players put in one hell of a shift today, didn't they? Yeah, 100%. Uh, as I said to the dressing room, nobody ever likes losing football matches. That's part of the development as well. But as I've also said since I came to the club, there's a way to lose. And, and the way we went about the game plan was incredible. You know, first half was absolutely sensational. We totally controlled the game against a top team who's played in Champions League and Europa League. Uh, and I couldn't be happy with the group. We had some unbelievable passage of play and some big moments to score. Uh, and then, and there are only two times that they probably entered their half in the first half from wide areas. They delivered with that quality that they have, and, and obviously got ahead. Uh, but the response again from Gustav with a great finish was was first class. And uh, listen, the first half was a real template. It was an amazing performance. Average age of about 27 for for FC Astana. That just goes to show the sort of test that the players are up against. Yeah, I, I've said to them in the dressing room that they should take incredible self belief from that, and, and I real trust in what we do uh, with and without the ball and the work that we do on the training ground. Because, like you said, they're giving up a lot of experience uh, and a lot of physicality in terms of that eight years or so that the, that they are giving up. But you never seen it in the first half, especially first 10, 15 minutes of the second half. I thought that they were slightly the better side. We were a little bit sloppier. Uh, with and without the ball and then we grew right back into it and had unbelievable chances uh, to score didn't take them and, and, and as I said from 18 yard box to 18 yard box we were a credit to ourselves today and the boys should be really really proud of that that effort uh, it's just the fine moments in, in both 18 yard boxes where that little bit of quality they have told I just wanted to pick out Gustav Mungus' performance. Another goal for him. He just doesn't stop running, does he? Yeah, well, at half time, you know, they changed 11 players for 11. Uh, and we've been going with the same boys this week and asking them to go to the well three games in six days with that sort of level of intensity and the pressure football that we play. And they give me absolutely everything. And as a coach and a manager, that's all you can you can ask of. And Gustav typifies that, as all the players at the top end of the pitch have uh, throughout this tour. But, but same for the midfield three and same for the back line. They, they, they should go home proud of their efforts through the three games. Yeah, just reflecting on the tour of the three games, how valuable has it been? Three men's games, three first teams. Uh, obviously, it's, it seems a, a while ago Sunday. Uh, which was another really good performance and, and similar to today where we had numerous chances to put the game to bed and didn't take them uh, we went into the second game uh, and in that second half we were that ruthless element that we spoke about at the top end of the pitch to get three goals and today as I said I was I was thrilled at times watching watching the team perform and we now look ahead to Wingate and Finchley on Tuesday another game another tough test against another men's team yeah exactly and a totally different test and a totally different environment uh, and as I said, I feel like uh, the club give the, the boys the platform to, to give them every sort of match for their development. And, and, and they are responding. You know, as I said, we can't ask any more of them. And just on Paris, he obviously got the goal. How, how has he settled in? Well, I think that's the culture that we create at the football club that he settles in quite quickly. You know, the boys are a terrific bunch of boys. And I think that the goal that he scored at the end was, was a top draw finish. And it was a pleasing way as the referee blew his whistle to end the tour because I think the boys deserved a lot more from the game than they got today. But that's the type of finishing that we obviously want to improve him on when he's playing in that midfield role, getting advanced. Uh, and as I said, settled in really well with a lot more to come. And we'll keep pushing him every day like we do the group.